to part four on how to make the AK-47 blender. Okay, basically in this part, I'm going to try to get as much done as I possibly can. So, I'm going to be talking and modeling. And if this is mainly for people that are intermediate with blender, this ain't like advanced. But if you, if you know some of uh, the basic key commands, then you, you could probably do this. I mean, I'm not going to say you can't, but... You might, you can try it. Um, so, pull this over here. This is the part we missed. On part three. Simplify that and pull this over. Alright, I have, my computer is going to be running very slow because I'm uploading part one and part two publishing part three and I'm making part four right now so if all these parts are made in one day pretty much except for five which probably won't because in part five we're just going to be finishing up that's why I want to get as much done in this part as I possibly can so about it done with this part. So. Right, let's see. Um, Lord, why does so deal with this computer, man? Screw down. Um, uh, uh, hey, making one of these things is a lot of fun. You know what you're doing. Now, if you just downloaded Blender and have never touched it in your life, I would suggest you try this. Because you will get lost. And I mean, seriously. Because I tried to make something like this when I first started using Blender. I was like, Jesus Christ. I just gave up. So, um, I just practiced and learned a lot of stuff in this program and just progressed. Just kind of slide that into position. S Z. That's this pretty much is good size. All right, save it. What the crap? Oh my God! Are you serious? Hold on. All right, thank God I didn't have to do that again. <laughs> or I would have been like pissed. Um, thanks to Blenders for recover last session with me. Um, just kind of, we're gonna get some stuff done. Right now, we're going to get everything in the trigger as much as we can over here done so we can get ready to color this and who knows if we have no time in this tutorial we might even start right now I'm not going to guarantee it we probably won't because we still have to make the stock and all this other stuff this might even drag on to 6 I don't know against time here. Oh yeah, that's the magazine. I don't want to pull that all the way over there. Um, can't see. There we go. Um, we're almost done with this. It's going to look pretty cool, I guess, when we're done. It depends on how you made it. If you make in the game, it's going to be low poly, which is very good for the engine. And I'll be good too. If you're making this for show, pretty much like I am. You don't need to use a lot of vertices. I'm just not going to stress that enough. Okay, we need to work on the magazine here. Yeah, this computer, I swear, this keyboard, I keep it in caps lock. Pull the, just pull the, extrude the magazine up into the gun, so that way you can actually, you will know that it is in there, and out of your way. The crap, is 
as him. Why won't it let me save it? Alright, we'll just name it. AK Tut dot blend, I guess. Yeah, save over this. What, what, what the crap? I'll save. God, one. Um. Save over. Alright, um, so, because of that interruption, that probably just costed us a lot of time. And time is key. So, we're gonna add another plane to this very, very delicate part that you need to be very, very careful on. Let's go that down on the wires. Alright, there we go. Alright, um, just keep extruding around this. this into position and then add make the trigger add a circle because I don't have time to add a plane and freaking model all this crap out so just do what you normally or do what you want to do all we've got so far. We'll go ahead and save this. We'll go back into it. We'll go ahead and do the stock, I guess, to get it out of the way. Um, go ahead and add a circle, and if you don't pay attention to this, you're going to probably get lost. Rotate it on the, and then on the y-axis and kind of get it aligned, and scale it down so you can actually work with it up into the actual parameters of it. Parameters, parameters, I don't know what the difference is. Um, Pull this over to get it all line, and then hit S and then hit Z and just scale it down a little bit. About right there should do. We'll just model this out, and if it ain't right, we'll just go back and redo it. We'll just, we'll just work from where we are now. Yeah, so um, we're almost done with this, people. The best part is when you get to color it. Uh, it did pretty good, I say. Oh, let's get more so it'll fit in. There we go. Save it. And let's go ahead and start on something else. And it's right here. Now, we're only going to make these once. So, I'm just go ahead and pull this out. Um, scale this thing down over here, and then tab it into edit mode, and just do the same thing that we did a minute ago. Alright, rotate it. Don't worry. Alright, just keep pulling this down. Get this over with. I'm getting frustrated with my computer right now. So we're just going to work with what we got. Alright. So we're done with that part. Now we got to do this. Which will only be on one side. So we don't have to worry about duplication and whatnot. So I'm going to look back at the other model I did. So I can get the colors whenever we get to that part. So. You notice I keep looking back and forth at songs, it's gonna be okay.
I'm right. Um, extrude this. Extrude this. Yada yada yada. Put this here. There we go. All right, and then extrude this down. So there we go. All right. Now we're pretty much going to be done with the modeling process after this. Extrude, Lord, and then do it again over here. And select everything, and then go back to your front view, of course, and pull this all down. I'm gonna color this just a random picking of color, so that I can see where everything is at. So if they don't look aligned, we're gonna go back. I'm gonna go recolor them later, but I just want to see. I need to tell if they're all in the line. Alright, they are. So we're going to take these. Go to front view. And then hit shift D. And then hit Z. And pull this down. And then do it. So, um. Yep, that's pretty much. We're done with the modeling part. I guess you could say. Let me see if we left anything off. Got it. Um. There we go. Alright. Um, go ahead and save this. Oh, good lord. Man. If I had enough of this, I'm not lying. Lord, I saved it. All we're going to do now is just go back and redo all the other stuff, which I'm not going to probably even do. I'll do it later, like off the screen. Save it. Lord, alright. Uh, that's all for this part. Thanks for watching, and next time you will notice that I have those parts back. So, see you later.